Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, at this juncture, um, invite our keynote speaker, who will be looking at Nigerian Film Video Census Board policy and regulation of film and video content in Nigeria as it relates to the theme, protecting creativity through participatory um, reform. Ladies and gentlemen, not being represented, him in his capacity as the Executive Director, Chief Executive Officer of the National Film and Video Census Board, live here with us, Alaji Adidayo Thomas. Please a round of applause for him. Thank you, sir. Thank you, um, Sam, my colleague, AS, ASB spy. Relax. God save you that you are not putting on uniform. Um, we thank Almighty God for bringing us here and making us to be part of the story today. Uh, it's a continuous thing, and we must thank God again for the life of those who taught it reasonable to have this summit today, and we must equally appreciate them. Ayo uh, Anko, uh, in the Africa Unchain Vibes Africa, I think you've really done well. Um, I can't, I enter there, I must say I'm very lucky. It's one of the few times that I'm going to be seated with a colleague in the creative industry. As a matter of fact, I'm a, I'm a test piano the University of Joss, and I'm a college journalist, so I'm at home. Um, I have to pay my respect to our dear mother and auntie. Uh, I've been lucky about two, three times to be with you. I don't think I've... I must thank the president as well, because uh, for giving me the second time as executive director, as equally giving me the opportunity as executive director to meet with our auntie and mother, Auntie Taiwa Ajayi. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, uh, since we're in the university, this it's, it has always been that name round and round. And the only thing we can do is to keep on praying for her, for that energy, because she has represented us so much in different parts of this world, beyond anybody's imagination. Thank you, ma'am. Now about Fidelis, Ghani, and of course, my other colleagues in this business. I think you're doing well. It is not over until it's over. It's a continuous thing. As uh, technology evolves, we keep on having challenges, but we must define it very well um, so that we can resolve it for those coming as well. Um, it, I don't know how um, the team came into be, but again, I must commend them for bringing up this, protecting creativity to participatory reforms. As a thespian, um, I'm supposed to be reading speech. I start writing. I write my speech if I have to at every given point in time, especially when it, com when it comes to creative industry. I don't give my speech out to uh, the civil servant to write. I can give it out to my colleague outside the civil service, but I don't give it out. But I started writing and I look at the topic and I said, okay, protecting creativity through participatory reforms. Uh -uh. That shouldn't be anything written. I'm part of it, participatory charter alliance, PLA, you know, instigating actions based on a particular theme. So it's a discussion issues. And narrowing it down to what I'm supposed to do this morning is about policy. Fine. I've had AY Ghani say a couple of things in terms of freedom. I was part of you as well. I'm still part of it. Uh, but we must have something in mind. That the freedom, where your freedom starts, it ends when another one starts. So we must be careful in our profession, dealing with issues from different perspectives. But narrowing it down to where I'm from and with the activities I've had in the past, I must confess to you, I am not... I'm, yes, I'm supposed to be speaking for government because I believe I'm performing my duty on my own scope. You can have other challenges and whatsoever. But then, I must be sincere with you. 
that the system is entirely different from the governors. Different in totality. From when I was at Quara Tech, 86 to 88, has been part of the student struggle. University of Joss, theater art, when I come out, my first working for myself was using participatory theater alliance to instigate action on policy because I believe in freedom of economy. Um, a journalist, I don't believe in um, communism. I did that when I was in school. I did that when I was in the student struggle whatsoever. But when I got out, not because I went into government, when I look at the reality of life, I don't believe in such communism. You don't give me what you don't have. You must collect from me first before you say you want to give me back. And nobody has created everybody equally. It's only in the concept of justice. So if you look at the policy round, because I believe so much in free market economy, right from the beginning, learning from my literate mother. Everybody that has a mother and a father who is either literate or non-literate, who strive hard from K2 to anywhere to sell pepper, raw tomato, and things like that. That parent is a capitalist. The reformed name for capitalism is entrepreneurship. When you say, oh, I, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, is the lesser name for capitalist. So we're all capitalists by nature. Even those who want to take from you and redistribute are capitalists. Why do they want to take from you? Your creativity. Your IP. So if you look into that, into policy, coming to creativity, you see there is a need for us to balance. And I'll explain. Let's narrow it down to creativity, protecting. How do we protect that if we are not in a form? Part of the policy that I saw in our mandate, in our act, says this because we're equally going to narrow it down to censorship, says this. Only, only a member of a professional association or gids that can present a film for review. That means for censorship. We agree in the first place that is constitution binding all of us. And that's law. So if it's in that law that only then we should look at government. When I, when I sat down then we should look at government and those who drafted that side and give them credit. Why? It is the only of the whole sector creativity takes second in Nigeria. Contributor of GDP the highest employer of labor. The down, down trodden being respected. Why? They respect accountants more than us. They respect doctors more than us. They respect lawyers more than us. Why? Because we allow every nuisance on the street to be part of us we are not professionals we are not we are professionals but we are not being looked as pro professionals and we have not presented ourselves to be professionals so if that is in one of our mandates then we say what you must belong to a recognized professional association in the creative industry before we deal with you and I'll tell you one of the things, you might disagree with me, freedom of, um, even independent uh, producers association in the US, they say, oh, I'm an independent producer. Why do they have independent producer association? That means they are no longer individuals. It has turned to a professional body that you must do one, two, three, four, before qualify before you belong. You cannot practice in the court without being a member of bar. 
You cannot carry an injection and go and give somebody without being a nurse or a doctor. But where do we stand in the creative industry? You have your idea. Your idea should equally come into those organizations that you know are professionals. Not because they are subjecting you to a particular thing, but because when you look at your back, you have people to defend you. As an individual, I will agree with one or two things that we think because we have new technology, so we can always do it. Gandhi mentioned it. The person that said, Sanusi, we have only a king. Who is Sanusi? And we have a governor. Can we have two governors in a state? He has already mentioned. There is another way we can always use it. Like Mohammed issues. Those are not freedoms. Those are against the policy of the land. And if I digress a little bit, you said um, um, when somebody call you um, that is a fool or something, that is not a capital offense. It should be what? Is, is an op no, that should be, if you take that person, it should be civil. It should be civil, not capital. It depends on if it's cut, classified as capital, with the experience I've had. When I came on the Board of Census Board, such things I've read about myself, I'll classify it as capital. If I meet that person on the corner, I can Because these are blunt lies. And that's why at times, if you think you're aspiring to be public, to go into the public office, let me give you a warning. Go and find out the history of your father or your mother. Somebody will come and insult your grandfather. You need to go and check your DNA so that they don't revert back to you that that's exactly not your father or your mother. And that's what the public office offers you. So in such light, anywhere it comes, it depends on the person. If you, if you feel it's capital offense, you take it to court that it's going to be capital. That's the digression. Let's keep on moving. Professionalizing for us to have to protect our creative industry. I'll start giving an example. When we started, I said, okay, Project Act Fund by Jonathan. We have over 2,000 associations in the creative industry. Yes. It is not what I read. It is what I have. That's what I met. Why? Yemi Bolaji is selling a Lubo because that creative fund is there. He's been encouraged to go and register in CAC and it becomes an association of filmmakers and whatsoever. Creative designer and soever. They tapped into billions during Jonathan's period. It's not the fault of the man. He has the new interest to develop the industry. They tap into billions, but we cannot take 10% successful of the creative fund given by Jonathan. When I looked at it, I laughed. When I asked them to start bringing documents, those who say it's their freedom, it's their creative freedoms and whatsoever, bring documents to be able to do what? To curb it. Moving down with what we have heard. That if you are not a professional, you are not a professional in the creative industry, especially with the film industry. And if you tell anybody that I'm not disposed to you or whatsoever, I'm not reachable, already the people you are telling knows you are lying. Even if I'm fighting you, I'll still be in the function that has to do with the film industry. If invited, and I'm able to come. As at after 12 a.m. this morning, I was with ANCOP. ANCOP did not register for now. I attended their executive, uh, what is it called? Inauguration of the new executive. But because I know they discuss film, they discuss creativity, I'll still have to go there because that's my job. If you don't pay, if you don't work, it is from your IP that I collect my own salary. So I have to be there. Now, if you don't belong to those associations, you are not even supposed to. African Vibes don't belong because they belong in freedoms and looking at several other issues from different perspectives. So it is not for them to belong. 
But in looking at the participatory, how do we defend ourselves in times of this? I should be able to say, and that's the example I want to give to you, that is this film. At a point, I have to tell, okay, Association of Movie Producer, I've forgotten the name of the producer of that film. It has to do with a lot of incitement, instigation of negative action from our own perspective. I came into this office from the, from the private sector, so I will be looking at things from that private sector. But then I have a lot of civil servants around me. So you have only thrown me to go and be fighting with them. So the issue is, they can classify a film to be 18. I'll be looking at it. If you write an appeal, a film is classified as 18. Do you understand it? You start jubilating. Where's your market base? They've cleared your market base already. Because that means only 18 will be able to watch it. And when you are submitting it for online platform or whatsoever, they'll look at it as classified as 18. They will not be able to distribute it. So you need to sit down and look from the script that you must produce a film that is even 13 so that it can go into several markets. That's one. But when mistakenly, I used to say it, they got agree with me and I explained to them, my staff, I said you are 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. You need to go to where? To location and see the people you are seeing dressing up. You need to see the kind of water they drink. You need to see their dresses. When they are in location. But when they come out to now come and do this, you think it's like that. No. They really suffered. They know what is really going on more than us. Because we are 8 to 4 o'clock people. So in that light, they're seeing their own policy differently. They are not marrying it with what is actually happening. Go back to AMP. AMP brought a film. And I was wondering who is the owner of this film. Because the person belonged to Association of Movie Producer, Peace I am, came to Abuja about 15 times. On the religious perspective, the mistake we made is if you subject your film to censorship, we will see at that point before you throw it out. We call Catholic, we work with Catholic associations because in issues where they say, uh, father rape issues. We call them to come and sit down. Bring their book. We we'll sit down together. We now censor that film with the owner of the film or somebody that has a stake in the film. Not that you as a producer you sat down in the office and you now give your house girl to go and censor your film. It is wrong. That's the hand part of your production. And if it affects you, if it, whatever affects the film affects uh, the market. So we sit down and look at it. The people you are talking about we should, from this realm, from the freedom realm, caution ourselves and say this is wrong. You are not supposed to release a clip of anything. By constitution, you have not gone to the National Assembly to say this has to be removed. You must follow the law of the land, no matter how. Take for example, if you are arrested for piracy or whatsoever, they say... Some, some, some penalties are, I think, 50,000 naira. You pirated the film that you have sold for what? For over 500,000. And the penalty is what? 50,000. Yes! Is that not ridiculous? Will the judge say, because it is it's ridiculous, he has to give a judgment that you should go and pay 30 billion. No. But we will always find a way to deal with that person. If you say a judgment was, uh, was passed in three days, I think we should clap for judiciary. Yes. Yes. Because it should be our reference for the judge that must have done that. He has done us good. Because in the freedom, yes, in the freedom circle, we always say justice deny. Uh, justice delay is justice deny. So we should, it's a good thing for us. We should use that as a reference. And which, of course, Ghani, you have used. Excuse me, if you cannot verify, we should not. 
and that is one of the reasons why we must have an in-depth research something you cannot in a circle we shouldn't just say it's, 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 it's like that we can't prove it your own case my own case in the last five years i've been in this thing i've been in court as well on infringement of rights Funke Akidele's job was by about 500 and something million. Other one, I seized over 1 billion worth of DVD markets, DVD sales, pirated uh, uh, um, CDs from Alaba, single-widely. I did that. But five years running, we are still in court. So if you are making reference tomorrow that something should be changed in the house, when they give you an example of, oh, because of the tediousness and things like that, because we already have a foundation that judgment was passed in three days, we could use that as a bait. So some things will happen, you look at it as negative or this other way. Let's start from where those things come from. Where I'm actually going in this, if we keep on, if I finish that off, peace I am. He came, we edited. He came, we edited. The country is boiling. I'm a Muslim. Where you put a crest of Jesus Christ at this corner, and you saw somebody beheading another person in that same place, what did you say? A Christian, the Christian beheads somebody. It can eat the crisis. Such was the film that was presented in the other religion. We have to go up to DSS. Peace and crew came to Abuja about 15 times for panel sitting and review of that film. At the end of the day, when I saw, because I'm equally part of you, I know what can happen in creativity. DSS was involved, I have to call them. I have to carry the final copy of the job and the certificate, I have to call HAMP, peace led them, and we have to go to DSS. I hand over to DSS. DSS handed it over to them. At the end of the day, they write that this is what we hand over to you. If they see another version outside, peace collected that certificate after about 15 trips to Abuja. Where am I going? Because now there is a defined professionalism. In film production, if you are a producer, then you must equally do what? They came without the owner of the job. The association, the professional association, defended to the last the man's creativity till date. I forgot, that's why I forgot the name of the, of the owner of the job. It didn't come to censor spot. Those are one and few of the advantages of belonging to a professional associations. Government policy, in most cases, we don't read through so that we quickly change it. The burning issue, again, that was mentioned of the policeman, I've said a couple of times. Let's define Hollywood. To anybody outside this country, even to a large majority of us, Nollywood is whatever clips we see that is coming from Nigeria, that's Nollywood. Majority of those clips are real. That's being sent on YouTube and other channels, and people classify it as Nollywood. They are more than the actual censored classified films. So they are majority. So the minister is right to say that. And whoever has tried that in the National Assembly, they are right to say that. Because what they see more in this first quarter, National Film and Video Censors Board, I think I sent it on media, censored 500 and 41. But in Asaba today, 
a 1,000 film is being produced. On several channels that you see clips, over 2,000 is being produced. Are they not overshadowing the real job? And what do people count them to be? Nollywood. So if a statement is made, we should watch and look at it carefully. First quarter, not one month. First quarter of the year, we censored and classified 541 films. But over 3,000 films and clips are on the space. What we should be addressing it, how do we tame that? And it's our fault as well. Government policy is on ground. But then a lot of us jump when we see white people. The only network outside this country that has been obeying Nigerian rules before taking films is only Netflix. Two years ago was when I fought with DSTV, multi-choice, and they started. Despite that, people still go and forge fake certificate. Despite the fact that on Monday, if you submit your film, latest by Friday, you get your classification and your certificate. That is how easy it is now. So what do you want the government to say? Those things you saw on Ghanaian slaves are true. I've been sent message by the minister. I've been sent query by National Assembly and I've answered. The SGF2 has sent theirs and have answered. But we need to do a lot of re-engineering within our space so that we can be respected. We need to be factual. Where government here is different, but in issues like that, we should be factual with ourselves. Government has not said that is the only one. But it's pronounced because we are more pronounced than any sector. If Minister of, if Patami is working right now, put Patami and uh, Ante Ajayi, and let's see who we run, who we have to take away from that space. It's going to be Ante or Norbert seated there. We are more known in the space, in the world space, than the bureaucrats or even politicians. Fidel Luzuka is here. If Ara works on these streets, Let's go and bring a minister. Let's bring Adiza on this street. It will be only a few people like us. That's Adiza. The chunk of the people who are youth, we start following. Ara, 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 ara. We are more known in the space. And we need to do what? We need to come together, tell ourselves the truth. The young ones that are here, and that's the fact. I will. I don't have the technology to go and arrest you on the space. But if I see your face, all the coppers that are working with me, I have about 30 workers. Mm, um, NYC, I take about 30 NYC. They are doing monetary. The day they say, I know this guy, with your clips, we will go inside your house and arrest you. Because it's the law. It takes you nothing, especially when you are a student. You come with your clips and whatsoever. It's free censorship. And I tell people, if you stand in, start in front of a staff of National Film and Video Censors Board, and it's delaying you, tell the person, you have what? You have the DG's number, I will call him. That's not what he said. You will see that his behavior will change immediately. You report to associations, they will take it up. We should try as much as possible to follow things because the freedom we're talking about, we should not abuse it. Everywhere, the issue of censorship is not what is being used. Because it's been looked at being draconic when you say censorship. But it has changed to classification. Everywhere in the world, they still classify. Self-classification is where we have not reached. And that is where I don't think, except we have a drastic reformation of our minds. And in the kind of things that we write, we are not going to get to that level of censorship. When you say it according to Sarah, if that, if not, I know you very well. Anyway, I just see his name, I just discard it. Yeah, if not, I know you. Any paper, no matter what, I just discard it. Why? He eats on files mostly. 
Things has been sent to him and doctor. Where you put 100,000 naira. And you had other zeros. It becomes like 100 million. When I have less than 30 million naira. When I entered Tensile Board in 2017. So who wrote now? That have embezzled over 15 billion. Sour or whatsoever. Where did I get that money? Fortunately, we met in a plane when we, I was going to Canada. I think he was going to US. And I said, oh, how are you, my brother? And things like that. My name is Adida. You wrote that. At, where did I get that one? He said, I don't write what is not fact. Immediately, I just ignore him. That already has discredited anything about him in this world, in my own face. And so, if you write or something, even if I write, if I see, if I go to where I used to do part-time job, and I'm marking your papers, and I saw you are quoting him, I'm already, you know, I've already felt him. I've, I've known who he is. So, those are the people, no, those are the people we should not follow. So you see something doing something because he had read something he did not do an in-depth research. This research that was brought out in terms of whether it is rituals or not rituals, it's not only rituals. And the minister has not said it's only rituals. Minister is within that concept of the National Film and Video Census Board and the film industry. That's why I was able to say that. And because he has a lot and he has seen a lot. The minister sit on censorship. He has seen a lot about it. It has overshadowed us and it's been called what? Nollywood. So it is left for us now to start picking those ones that, they, that people look at as if they are Nollywoods to start taking them off so that we can have the glory. You can't see nobody in a film. You must have read all the films where he's talking about some certain issues and he hands into a negative. No! You can't see Ajayi, particip Auntie Ajayi participating in that and a couple of other things with all of us. You cannot. But because we gave platform and we say freedom, 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 everything was on here. So they have overshadowed us. So we need to start engaging ourselves about the kind of things we produce so that government will not use the simple armor that we've not been able to read through to knock on our head. And that's exactly the problem. So in light of this, I again want to thank you for bringing this, this to bear. If there is any further conversation about it, I'm willing and I'm ready. Uh, I'll be here uh, maybe until after the panel. Thank you so much.